anyone who isn't already aware, why don't you tell me a little bit about the story of the film? Driving with Selby is the story about a young girl who had been a child bride, ran away, and became South India's first female taxi driver. What attracted you to the film and made you want to get involved? I met Selvi when I was there as a tourist I actually in India. I was doing some volunteer work at the shelter she was living at, and I was just really inspired by the work that she was doing. She was starting a taxi company at the time, and it was really rare 10, 11 years ago to see a woman driving, let alone a girl driving a taxi. And what were some of the challenges you faced while filming? Well, I didn't set out to make a film that took 11 and a half years to finish, so that was a challenge in itself. And um, doing an unscripted documentary in India had enormous challenges from even just being able to get electricity to charge batteries and stuff like that. But also it was hard to fund, fund the film because it wasn't ha having an immediate end. It was really difficult to get people on board. When I did though, I received some grants and that sort of really started the ball moving. Why is independent film so important to the industry? Well, I think it's important that we all have a voice, an independent voice, and our own voice. And I think it's especially important to be able to give, enable people who don't have a voice to be able to speak out about their own realities. And I think without independent documentary and film in general, we would have a very sort of isolated type of entertainment. Do you have a favorite independent film? Something I was thinking about really recently was The Arbor. Have you seen that? I haven't. The Arbor, it's a hybrid uh, documentary, and it was really interesting, the techniques that they used, and it was a great story. And um, at the time, it felt really fresh and new. Why are festivals like Green Dance so important to the film industry? Well, it's sometimes really hard to get a documentary out there, you know, into the mainstream uh, cinemas, and I think it gives uh, films some exposure that they wouldn't normally get. And then that itself leads to deals, hopefully, and uh, more exposure. How do you feel about having your film premiere at Raindance? It's great. It's such a wonderful festival. It seems kind of small and self-contained, but it's, you know, the whole city has access to it. So London's a great place. What's up next for you? Uh, I've got nine more festivals to go to in the next six weeks, and uh, it's taking me to North America, back to Europe, back to North America, to India, to North America. So there's a lot of travel. What do you hope the audience takes away from your film after watching it? I think Selby's story is particularly unique because it is a story of hope and it's not very often that we see these kind of stories come out of India. There's a lot of uh, violence against women and it's all a reality there, but uh, someone like Selby will really enable an audience to see that there is hope for, for women and girls. And even more so for me, what's important is that the women and girls in India are able to see the film. And Selvi's story will really give them an opportunity to rethink their future and their opportunities. And uh, we're actually doing a, a quite an ambitious audience engagement and impact campaign in India. And the goal is to get the film out to a million viewers so that we really can make a change and make a difference with the film.